So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get the complete blade, armor set and weapon which is incredible, check this out, ba boom, boom, look at, you know you want to look like a werewolf, I mean why not, why not people, how's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe so arguably the best looking armor in this game there's no two which ways about that i'm sure you would agree looking absolutely incredible okay so the the blade armor and the actual weapon i'll showcase it to you guys first yeah check it out here's the weapon the real great sword requires 26 in strength 18 in dexterity and 22 in intellect but it does hit like a truck we also then have the Black Wolf Mask, which you get after you get the armor set or before, uh, depending, doesn't really matter. Uh, so yep, yeah, these are the three pieces of armor you will get and the helmet obviously comes after. So it's actually real good armor too, guys. It is seriously good armor. Again, one of the better in the game. I mean, if you compare it to things like the Twin armor, which I loved, beastly. The Royal Remains, it's better in every single way. Uh, so yeah, it's a decent armor set, guys. It really is, so you definitely want to get it now the way i got this and it can probably differ for certain people but i got this after completing the entire rani quest line which you will see on screen now so you need to start this quest line and complete it guys as once you complete it people when you come down from uh, rani's rise where rani's quest uh well don't start but it, it's basically finished there you will see Blade sitting outside. There you have to fight him and take him down. Once you take him down, you get this armor set and weapon. Minus the helmet, which I'll also showcase where you get this from at the end. But yeah, guys, I'll run you through the entire Rani quest line on screen now. Okay, so the quest line for Blade's armor isn't that lengthy, to be honest. You should get it done in under an hour, especially with this guy's help. What I will say is a lot of people may be confused by a few steps they've already seen online via other guys. Because if you've already killed Radan, a lot of the steps early on in this quest, where you have to talk to certain NPCs, won't be there for you, so it can confuse you. So if you've already defeated Radan, check out the timestamps linked within the uh, comment section and video description and look for it. it says start from here if you've already killed Radan. There are a couple of other bosses you will have to take out to progress and complete this quest line. They are unavoidable and they are on the way. But if you've already taken out Renella, Queen of the Full Moon who is located in the Academy and also the Royal Knight Loretta within Carrier Manor there's two bosses out of the way for you already. If not, it doesn't really matter because they are along the way in getting this quest line completed. Okay, so first up guys, you need to obviously have talked to Renna at the Church of Ella. You would have done this real early on. She's there normally the night after you get your mount. Now, you may have to activate a few graces and come back here to the Church of Ella at night and you'll see Renna sitting on a wall. Okay, so to start Renna's quest line from here, you need to go to Rani's Rise, as you can see, on the map right here. This does mean though guys, you will have to progress through Carrier Manor, and you will have to progress and defeat the Royal Knight Loretta boss. He's located in the main room here. So yeah, once you've taken him out, you can then progress and start Rani's quest line. If you've already taken him out, then you are good people, don't worry about this. So yeah, once you've taken him out, or if you've already done this, make your way to Rani's Rise, and climb to the top of this tower. So once at the top guys, talk to Rani and clear out all dialogue. When you get the dialogue option of serving Rani the witch, make sure you do that. Once you've done this guys, you then need to go downstairs within the tower because you won't actually be able to leave the area and talk to the three phantoms. They are located within the tower, they're harder to miss than they are to spot, so yeah, get that done. Then once you've done that, go back and talk to Rani. From here guys, you need to go to Seofra River Well and talk to Blade.
And from here guys, you need to go to Syllabus's Rise and speak to Syllabus. Uh, when you clear out his dialogue, select accept the task and ask about Nakron, a place we're going to be going to. Then guys, you need to go to Waypoint Ruins and give the Syllabus introduction to Sorceress Selen. Now for me, I'd already done the Selen quest line, so Selen wasn't within Waypoint Ruins for me anymore. If this is the case for you guys, you would have no doubt already taken out Renella Queen of the Full Moon at the Academy and Sorceress Selen should be located there as you go into the main library to your left hand side like a big ball of heads. It's, it's wild people, it's wild. Speak to her there. But like me, there may be a chance that there's no actual extra dialogue here or no progression here which is completely fine that's what happened to me so let's carry on to the next step now this is the step where you need to go to the impassable great bridge bottom right of the map and talk to the guy to start the radan festival this is where you have to where you first get the radan cutscene then you have to fight radan and take him out once you've taken him out guys we then have to progress now like i said if you've already taken out radan this is probably where you need to start this quest from, like I said at the start of the video, which is completely fine. So from here guys, we now need to go to Nakron, where if you go to Fort Height West, you can simply make your way down with a giant hole in the floor. Now from here you will have to progress through and past the Mimic Tier boss fight like I said, a walk in the park. A little bit of advice, take off all your armour and just slaying people because he mimics what you do. And from here guys, follow the path I take on screen now to grab the Finger Slayer Blade. This is something we have to return to Rani and give her. And this will complete part one of Rani's quest line. So once you've returned to Rani within Rani's Rise guys and you've given her the blade you now want to reset at this site of grace so fast travel to a site of grace and come back to this one that's probably your best bet now normally and this confused the heck out of me guys there should be a teleporter or a portal at the top of this tower which takes you to where you need to go which is to the Ansel River Main for me though that teleporter was not there if this is the case for you guys, you're going to have to do what I had to do. Now pinpointed on the map right here, we can see Ansel River Well. Well going down here guys actually doesn't give you access to where we need to go. It doesn't give you access where we need to actually get within this area. Because we need to get up here, Ansel River Main. Where you actually come down into here and you can't actually progress up here. So the only other way I know of to get up here guys, which I'm seeing a lot of people missing their guides, is to take out another boss in the twin gargoyles and they ain't too easy if i'm honest with yous and these are located back within nacron 
So from the Mimic Tier Grace Point spot, this is where you need to come to. You need to come and follow the direction that I take on screen now and come all the way up to the Great Waterfall Basin, which is the closest Grace Point. From here, guys, you will have to progress through and defeat the Twin Gargoyles, which, like I said, ain't the easiest of bosses within this game. Okay, so once you've taken out the Twin Gargoyles, if you go to the back of the room, there will be a Grace. Just to the right of this Grace, guys, there will be a Coffin, which you can actually get into and travel where we need to actually go to next, which is the Deep Root Depths. Now, from the Deep Root Depths, guys, you will start here at the Great Waterfall Crest. This is where you will spawn in when you use that Coffin. Now, if you've already got any of these Grace points you can see on screen now, that's even better for you. If you haven't, you will have to follow the path I go or take on screen now to another coffin. So once you get to this coffin, guys, this will then teleport you to and so river main okay so once you are here guys you need to pick up the items on the floor and you will see that there is a miniature rani doll once you pick this up guys you then sit next to this grace this slight grace and you can see the dialogue option at the bottom where you can talk to her keep selecting this until dialogue more dialogue pops up From here guys you then need to progress forward and take out Baleful Shadow. He will drop the discarded palace key. From this point, progress forward guys and go down in this lift to this area of rot and activate that grace. From here guys, we need to go to the Rea Lucaria Grand Library. This is actually the area where you will have to fight if you haven't already defeated Renella, Queen of the Full Moon. But if you've already taken her out, you are good. If you haven't, she will await you. Take her down, people. Now, if you had already taken her down, or once you do take her down, you will notice a chest to her right, I believe it is. This is where you use that discarded palace key. And within this chest, guys, you will get the dark moon ring. From here, guys, you need to go back to that lake of rot. Once you are here, you need to run through this rut and navigate all the way past it to rest in this coffin or this tomb. So do as I do on screen now, guys, 
making sure you got plenty of those healing flasks because you're probably going to need them. Now once you get in this coffin, you'll then come to another boss called the Astro Natural Born of the Void. Here you will also have to take out this boss. Once you've done this guys, progress forward to this elevator, to the Moonlight Altar. Once you are here guys, navigate to this cathedral and also activate this grace. From here guys, drop down his hole and follow the path I take and you'll find Rani. Here just give her the dark moon ring. For this guys, once you've cleared out the dialogue, you will be rewarded the Dark Moon Greatsword. And there we have it people, the Rani quest line and its reward. So from here guys, you need to go back to Rani's Rise. So use the grace you'll have there. Upon exiting Rani's Rise Tower, you'll see Blade sitting on those steps. Here you have to take him out. Okay, so upon killing Blade, you get the gauntlets, you get the chest piece and you get the leg armor. You also get his amazing weapon. But from here, you still need to get his mask, his helmet, which you don't want to miss because it looks incredible. Luckily for you, it's right nearby and you literally just go and grab it. So Sullivan's Rise, which is the tower just right of the map to Rani's Rise. Just go here guys, use your mount, mount around the wall as you can see me doing it on screen now and grab this mask to complete this armor set. And there you have it people. This is how you get the full blade armor set, one of the best in the game, no doubt. Guys, the end of the video has now arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and wanna see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.